All right, so we left off here. We had seen an ogive, but now we need to make it. So let's go to Excel, and we're going to grab these cumulative frequencies right here. I'm going to grab the cumulative frequency column. I'm going to get an insert line, and I like the one with the markers, so I picked that one. Delete this. I mean, we should be getting kind of old school at this, right? Oh, rats. Hold on. Big bad. My mistake. There's one issue with this. I forgot. Um, OGIs have to start at zero. I need a row kind of before this row that I can start at. So I'm going to click on the number two, right click, and insert. And I'm going to add in that dummy class that we had with zero, 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 zero. Okay. Not that I really need the first two zeros, but. And I don't want that gray. Hold on. There we go. Had the no fill action. And then I'm going to make it all the same. Okay. There we go. Now I'm good. Now I'm going to grab all this column. <laughs> there you go. Because you need that zero to start with. That's the real issue here. And you need this number over here eventually. So um, again, I just clicked on the two, right click and insert. Right. Okay. So I'm here. I'm going to highlight this column. I like uh, highlighting the word cumulative frequency too because then it gives me that for a title and that. You know, it's faster to type. So this is a cumulative frequency ogive of exam grades. I think this was. Cool. And it's going up. Everything's great. All I got to do is change these numbers. So I'm going to click on the, um, the dots, not the actually the numbers, but the dots. Right click, select data. Hey, your old friend, horizontal axis labels. It's only like the seventh time we've done this, but it's this one right here. And look what I did. It's a mistake. See, I highlighted upper class limits. I got too smart with myself. Uh, start at 34.9. Don't grab the words because see right there, down there, you can see it starts at 34.9. Say okay. Um, oh, you know what? There's only one other thing. The access titles. Got to add those in. So these were exam grades. Technically, they're exam grade upper class limits. If you want to write that, that's fine too. And this is cumulative frequency. Awesome. Mm, I'm not going to do it. I changed my mind. Because I didn't do it over here when these were midpoints. It's not like I said it then. So, But if you wanted to, you could. I'm going to leave it. Now, if we make a cumulative frequency one, you know what's coming, right? Right. You're going to make a cumulative relative frequency one. So you copy that graph, go click somewhere else, paste, control V. And I want to make this one a relative frequency one. So what I want to do is I want to drag this box right here. See the blue box? So right now it's using these numbers to make the graph out of. I want to make it take my cursor to the edge so it turns into that four-sided arrow click down with my left mouse button, drag it to the right. There you go. Now it's making it cumulative relative frequency ogive. This is cumulative relative frequency. And of course, if you want to make things, oops, that was bad. If you want to make things different colors, you go to the design bit. I'll make this one purple. I'll make this one orange. Why? Well, because I can. I'm going to move the graphs around so that way I can see all four of them if I just scroll around. I don't like stacking them on top of each other. All right, so we've made both a cumulative frequency ogive and a cumulative relative frequency ogive. Technically, I don't even need to say cumulative because when it's an ogive, you know that it has to be cumulative, right? So this one's a frequency ogive. This one's a relative frequency ogive. Awesome. Now... What are the values on the horizontal axis? Well, those are the upper class limits. Why does the graph start at 34.9? Well, mm -hmm. before the first class, n zero values have accumulated. Hold on, let me type this up. Okay. Before the first class, the first class starts at 35, so just past that dot, we want a value of 0. So we use 34.9 comma 0 as a starting point, um, a fake starting point to the graph, if you will, and to the table. 